we're going to have a Dvorak festival. We're going to have a Dvorak festival this year, um, this season, I mean next year in January. I mean, you know that Dvorak was basically um, Brahms's apprentice to a certain degree. And um, the idea uh, to get him into business was through the Slav Slavonic dances, which Brahms recommended to his editor. And that was a huge success and basically kicked off uh, Dvorak's career as a composer. Also his commercial, uh, the commercial side of composing, actually making money with it. And so the Slavonic dances we are presenting at the KLIN um, are a Kickstarter for Dvorak's career. And they're going to be shown on television sometime prior to the Dvorak Festival. Exactly, around Christmas, on the 5th of January, there are different, different um, showings of this, this series. We are presenting, we start with a carnival overture, one of the most brilliant, colorful um, pieces uh, Dvorak ever has written. It's, it's a, wonderful, um, uh, a wonderful overture. And um, as it says, carnival, it's full of colors and um, as it should be. And then it's followed by the Slavonic dances. Similar to the Hungarian dances, the Slavonic dances captures different styles of dance. Um, and and they, they are really colorful examples of Dvorak's writing and his rooting in the folk music. So folk music is really something that followed him all his life. He never forgot his bohemian roots. And, and, and when he came to America, as we know, all know with the, with the New World Symphony, he actually found new roots here, which then later established also um, the American uh, symphonic music. And the, and the Slavonic dances, I understand, were all original compositions, unlike Brahms's, which were existing music that was reorchestrated by Brahms? No, Brahms also wrote these pieces um, in the folk spirit. Uh, he came up with the tune. Some of them are inherited and some of them are influenced because he was, he was uh, with Josef Joachim, who was an Hungarian uh, violinist, he was very inspired by him doing this and because he played a lot with him. He dedicated his violin concerto to him. Um, it's, it's basically a great composers capture what's in the air but really compose their own music. It's their original creation. But of course, I mean, these tunes are somewhat in the air of Bohemia. Um, and not only, I mean, it's very much Central European dances. Well, great. We look forward to the festival, Maestro. Thank, Thank you. you.